a Twitter question. Yes, yeah, so we had a question come in on Twitter two days ago, and we'll we'll leave the person's name off just in case they don't want it there, but I'm, I'm sure they're okay with it. Okay. But uh, they just asked, I'd like to know how one secures a pitch meeting with executives or production companies as a first-time screenwriter, and then they followed it up with, I mean, does one just make a call and set a date and time? Do you go in with a treatment or dot, 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 and then there's more of it, but so. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm I'm thinking yeah, because sure, that sure. that's that that's that's a that's quite a question. Uh, how do you secure a meeting? Um, you write a screenplay, and you write a really really good screenplay, and the metaphysics of getting a meeting after that are so elusive sorry uh, I, I, I'm not uh, and, and it's a very sincere question and I, and I, 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 I it gets asked to me uh, all the time um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going so I'm going to dance around it a little bit but I'm going to but uh, again uh, not seriously but sincerely um, there was a time when I was teaching and uh, the, here's something about me, uh, me as a teacher. I am a, I, I, I am a screenwriting teacher who's not a failed screenwriter. I'm actually a successful screenwriter who teaches at the same time. Uh, uh, oh God, that was cheap. Uh, I apologize. Uh, uh, but um, I, 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 stopped, I stopped teaching at one point because I really had an ethical dilemma because I thought the real reason people were taking my classes is to say to me, how do you get a movie made? You've gotten movies made. You've gotten through the door. How do I get through the door? And I could have been teaching anything. I could teach story analysis, screenplay structure, dialogue, anything. And I thought the real reason that people were there was to ask me, Larry Wilson, how do I get a pitch meeting? How do I get a movie made? How do I get through the door? And I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say, and I felt like I was like part of this false hope machine. And I didn't like it, and I didn't like the way it made me feel. And I stopped teaching. And the thing that brought me back to teaching, and where I could do it again, were a question like that, which I wish I had a great answer. I, 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 look, I've, I, I've been blessed uh, by the fact that doors open, unexpected doors open for me my entire life after I moved to Hollywood. I was working in a department store stocking makeup uh, because, I'd because I'd cleaned my mother's beauty shop for years and I knew how to stock makeup. And the woman who loved the way I stocked her makeup said, oh, so you want to be in like the, the entertainment business? Well, you should do cue cards. And she introduced me to a man named Barney McNulty. And the next thing I knew was I was doing cue cards on all the biggest television shows of the time. A door opened. I can't explain why that happened, why I went in stocking makeup and that door opened. Luck and all of that, it's too complex of a question. But... And, but I knew it was what people were asking. I hope this is making sense. I, I knew it was what people were asking me, really. How do I get through the door? How do, how do I get my script read by someone that matters? Well, there's some easy pat answers to that. They're not pat, but you know, there's, there's, there's contests, there's pitch orgies, there's all the, you know, these millions of things out there that you need to be careful about what you submit to. But there's all those ways, but there is no answer to the question. But the, and, and I got very, I, I, I really started, I had an ethical dilemma about it. I did not want to be trafficking in false hope and that I had some magical answer. So the first part of the answer is write a really great script. But the reason I was able to come back to teaching was the digital revolution. And the fact that you could make a movie, holding up my cell phone, ladies and gentlemen, you can make a movie on your cell phone now. You can make a movie for a thousand bucks. There is no excuse for you not to make a movie anymore. 
And knowing that, and knowing that I could go in and help people write a great screenplay, and that they, and if no one would give them the time of day, they could figure out how to write a great screenplay that they could shoot for $500 on their iPhone, inspired me to come back to teaching. And the answer is, there is no answer. The, the answer is you, you put yourself in every possible place, conceivable place you can think of without getting ripped off uh, by sham screenplay contests and all that. You put yourself in every conceivable place you can think of. You submit your script anywhere you possibly can. You talk to anyone who you think might be able to help you and maybe that door will open for you. But if none of that works, make your own movie. Sorry, you know, I, I, and, 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 I, and, and it's, 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 it's a great place to be, but it's a scary place for people to be. When I started in, in the business a, a, a billion years ago, making a movie was expensive. Just a film stock could stop you from making a movie. The cost of printing and developing and dailies and all of that could stop you from making a movie. It wasn't that people didn't do it. But it was incredibly difficult. But the digital revolution, if you can't get your stuff seen, if you can't get a pitch meeting, shoot a film. Shoot, 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 a, shoot a 10 minute short and post it on YouTube. Take your career and your life into your own hands and stop waiting for these gatekeepers to give you permission to be a filmmaker. And you can, at the same time, you're trying to get through that door and you're trying to get that pitch meeting and you're trying to get that huge movie off the ground. Do all of that, but be making your, your iPhone movie. Be, and, 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 and it's an answer that people don't want to hear. Why? Why do you think they don't want to hear it? Because, because it puts all the responsibility on them. It, 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 makes them it makes them have to make a movie. It makes them have to do something in public and perhaps fail. Mm -hmm. It makes them have to go to their mother and say, can I have a thousand bucks, mom? Why? Well, I want to make a movie. If you think I'm going to spend a thousand dollars, I mean, you know, it's, it, it, it just puts all the responsibility back on you as, as, as a screenwriter and a filmmaker. And people hate that. They want that ticket that that is going to open that door and i wish i had an answer i have struggled with that question for decades of teaching mm. and i don't know why these doors open for me i don't know i know i was persistent i was idiotically persistent i literally was that that doofus who went around to to to, to the guard gates at, at, at studios and said I want to make a movie. How do I make a movie, sir? You know, to a, to a gate guard. I mean, I literally did that because I was so dumb. I didn't know any better. But one of them finally said to me, well, son, what do you, what do, you do? Well, I read. Well, then become a script reader. How do I do that? Well, ask someone. And I got a job $75 a week reading scripts. And it was, and then I got it, you know, and, and then I was like working, you know, and a cosmetic counter in a May company, and I, and I, you know, I mean, it's just stupid stuff that that's the way life works or doesn't work for you. But the whole the whole landscape has changed, where anyone can make a movie now. What that means is there will be millions of bad movies, but make sure yours is a good one. And you know, and and oh God, here build it and they will come or whatever that is. <laughs> so that's the best answer I can give. And it's not, I wish, uh, question, ans ask her, I could give you a better answer, but it's the only answer I can honestly give you because I don't know.